Hi, TL431 is a voltage reference chip. We will find them in switching power supplies. Let's learn how to test it. To make a test of my voltage reference chip, I'm going to use a test lead homemade like this. You can use the one that is uh, pins from deep lines and they are stronger than mine and mine they are flexible not too good but it's just an idea how to do it the negative from these guys pay attention i place it in the center the negative is here in the power supply the positive ones they are on the sides they are joined together and there is a 1k resistor in serial with the output in the power supply i'm going to use 5 volts for testing remember guys if you don't have a power supply like that you can use something like this from a smartphone and it will work fine the same Now I have a voltmeter in the DC volts scale. My negative proof is on the negative in the power supply. And my positive one, I will place it here. After the resistor. Not before. Now I'm going to make a measurement of the voltage drop after the resistor what I see here is the same voltage in the power supply because there is not any load connected to it I have here a switching power supply and TL431 chip here right there this is what I'm looking for it's TO92 package and in the other side without removing the chip from the printing circuit board I will try to make the test if it doesn't work I have to remove the chip remember that I'm just trying to save time in testing without complications I will go here to the point pay attention to the voltmeter it should drop the voltage to to 2.4 something to 2.5 volts did you see okay this chip is good there is another chip here hiding from us right there another voltage reference TL431 and let's try to connect it to touch it it's right there same thing don't pay attention to my hand pay attention to the voltmeter two point five the chip is good too this kind of test is on board test for the voltage reference TL two uh, 431 in ATX switching power supplies or any kind of switching power supplies with this kind of device same guy here right there hiding from us this is an Epson switching power supply and pay attention to the voltmeter when I touch it 2.5 remember it's 2.4 something to 2.5 always close to 2.5 okay my voltage reference is good I didn't have to remove it from the printing circuit board and I make a fast test in my video about how to test switching power supplies I make the comment in some kind of a plasma TVs uh, LCD TVs I used to replace that chip when I found it uh, burned it and I got money in my pocket 
just by using this kind of test. Please pay attention to this cutie thing. What you see here in Surface Mount device is the same chip we have been testing. And we have to do some kind of tests alike. Remember, uh, you will need the data sheet because you will find this kind of chip in TO92 package, this kind of Surface Mount uh, package. And you will find it in Surface Mount and deep uh, through hole uh, chips in 8 pins too. So it's good if you take a moment now, look for a data sheet and save it in your database. This video is part of a series of videos I record for how to fix an ATX switching power supply, how to test optocouplers in the same way I'm, I'm applying here. And probably I will add uh, some more videos about. Uh, guys, please pay attention. The power supply is not connected to the AC line. It's totally cables uh, of uh, free from it. And I want you to pay attention to it. If you are fixing a desktop computer with an ATX power supply, don't make the mistake to leave the cables connected to the motherboard and the monitor connected to the motherboard or the video card. We don't want feedback. We don't want voltage around. Don't expose the equipment to be burned, to be damaged, and don't expose your health. Everything must be disconnected, and the only voltage source we have around is the laboratory voltage uh, power supply we are using, or the mobile phone or smartphone little power supply we are using to feed this kind of test. I hope you enjoy and the knowledge is with you now. You can apply it for ATX switching power supplies and any kind of switching power supplies with the TL431 voltage regulator. Thanks for watching it.